great student uh feel welcome uh thank you again for your great time just want to take you through a discussion on divisibility test and i'm going to consider divis uh, numbers that are divisible by two by three by four by five by six by eight by nine by 10 and of course by 11. so i believe by the end of this particular discussion uh, you are going to buy the idea that indeed this particular area is uh, easy and easy to detect if a particular number is divisible by the above mentioned numbers to start with i'm starting with divisible by two so how do you know that a number is divisible by two now a number is divisible by two if the last digit to the right is even that is that particular number ends with two four six eight or zero for example if i have a number like 350 and the question is asking if it is divisible by two then on a quick note because this number is ending with zero then that particular number is uh, divisible by two similarly number like 300 702 20 628 are all divisible by two reason they end with a zero or even a number now two a number is divisible by three if the sum of its digits is divisible by three so if you sum the digits and the number that you obtain is a multiple of three then that particular number is divisible by three a good example is 1257 now if this number divisible by three let's try to find out now adding the digits we have one plus two plus five plus seven which give us 15 and clearly notice that 15 is a multiple of three and therefore 1257 is divisible by three now a number is divisible by four if the last two digits are zeros or forms a number that is a multiple of four a example look at this example 1132 is this number divisible by four let's try and find out now the last digits is 32 now 32 is a multiple of four and therefore 1132 is divisible by four since the two last digit is a multiple of four now five to, de uh, to test the divisibility test for five we say this that a number is divisible by five if the last digit is zero or five so if a number ends with zero or five then that particular number is divisible uh, by five a good example is 2340 divisible by five to find out let's look at the last digit and the last digit for this particular number is zero and because it is zero then 2340 is divisible by five similarly 175 4325 8000 or 800 1050 are all divisible by five it's reason because the last number is either five or zero now to know that a number is divisible by six to know that a number is divisible by six what do we do we have to first of all prove that that particular number is divisible by both two and three so if a number is divisible by both two and three then that particular number is divisible by six let's look at a number like 612 now 612 is divisible by two because this number is divisible by two because uh, the last digit is an even number right that's what we said about divisibility test for two this number again is divisible by three reason is 
that if we sum the digits of this particular number, that is 6 plus 1 plus 2, we get 9, which is divisible by 3. And therefore, 612 is divisible by both 2 and 3. And therefore, 612 is divisible by 6. So if a number is divisible by 2 and 3, then that particular number is divisible uh, by 6. A number is divisible by 8 if the number formed by its last digit or the last three digits is a multiple of 8. So here we are looking at the last three digits and see if the number formed by those three digits is a multiple of 8. For example, we have a number like uh, 3,027,144. Is this number divisible by 8? Let's check out. Now, the last digit here is 144. Now, 144, if you were to divide 144 by 8, you find that it goes there 18 times. And clearly, 144 is a multiple of 8, 18 times. And therefore, 3,027,144 is divisible by 8. Now, a number is divisible by 9. If the, the sum of its digits is a multiple of 9, for example, if you are given a number like 32,157 and asked if that number is divisible by 9, then we proceed as follows. Sum up the digits, which is 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 5 plus 7, which gives you a total of 18. Now, 18 is a multiple of 9. Why? 9 goes to 18 two times, and therefore, 32,157 is divisible by 9. Great. So if you want to know that a number is divisible by 9, sum the digits and look at the number formed by summing the digits if it's a multiple of 9. If it is, then that particular number is a multiple of uh, 9 or is divisible by 9. Lastly, we want to look at is a number divisible by uh, by 10. How do you know that a number is divisible by 10? Now, a number is divisible by 10 if the last digit is 0. So, if the last digit is 0, then that particular number is divisible by 10. Look at this, 3470. Is this number divisible by 10? Yes. Reason? Because the number ends with 0. The last digit is 0. And therefore, this particular number is divisible uh, by 10. Great. So, if you want to know that a number is divisible by 2 in a summary, then the last digit should be an even or a 0. If you want to know a number is divisible by 3, then you sum the digits and then you look at the number formed if it's a multiple of uh, 3. If you want to know that a number is divisible uh, by 4, we have already said that uh, what you do, you look at the last two digits. If the last two digits is divisible by uh, 4, then that number is divisible by 4. If you want to know a number is divisible by 5, then the last digit should be 0 or 5. Similarly, if you want to know that a number is divisible by 6, then that number should be divisible by 2 and also 3 at the same time to be concluded. A number is divisible again by 8. If uh, the last three digits forms a number that is a multiple of 8. If that is the case, then that number is divisible uh, by 8. By 9, we've said you sum the digits, and after summing the digits, the number obtained, if it is a multiple of 9, then that particular number is uh, divisible by 9. Lastly, by 10, we've said that a number is divisible by 10 if the last digit uh, is 0. And if the last digit is 0, then you are at liberty to conclude that that number is divisible uh, by 10. I appreciate for your time. For uh, divisibility of 11, uh, you can check my subsequent video. But in the forthcoming video, I'm going to provide how to know that a particular number is divisible by 7. I appreciate for your time. And follow me for more interesting uh, lesson in mathematics. Thank you and may God bless you. Oh, wow. Uh...